Hello everyone and welcome to the Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. My name is Alex Sigrist and let's see what happened in the world of tech in Korea from the second week of August. First up, Nexon unveils teaser video for The First Descendant, a new global looter shooter genre game. The First Descendant is a new game in the looter shooter genre that combines third person shooter combat and RPG. It is a triple A game with core values of high quality visuals implemented with Unreal Engine 5, spectacular four player co-op shooting action and sustainable RPG. By releasing a teaser video and main visuals through the new trailer of The First Descendant, Nexon is preparing for its global service. They are planning a beta test to target the global market from October 20th to the 27th. And now on to our next story. NeoWiz hosts online indie game festival Biggs 2022. Biggs 2022, which runs until the 17th, is an online indie game festival designed to help promote indie game companies. At Biggs 2022, with the event website, people can experience various unique styles of indie games and check out the latest video clips of the latest games. A total of 185 Korean and 30 overseas indie game makers are participating in Biggs 2022. There will be an award show, Biggs Award, which selects outstanding games among the participating companies. Now third up for our main news segment, Aloha Factory attracts 6 billion won worth of Series A investment. Aloha Factory is the company that has steadily developed hyper-casual games and since the hyper-casual genre has characteristics of easy and intuitive gameplay, anyone in any age group can enjoy these games. With this round of investment, I believe we can expand our game genres to mid-core casual and contribute to Korea's mobile casual game ecosystem by partnering with other startup game makers, according to Lee Ho-jin, the CEO of Aloha Company. Next up, Rebuilder AI partners with Megaplan in order to secure a large amount of live action-based virtual space data. Rebuilder AI is a company that has expertise in AI and AR VR technology that allows anyone to create 3D models easily and quickly from videos using only mobile phones. They have further strengthened their competitiveness by allowing users to freely use the automatically converted 3D model according to the user's convenience. Megaplan is a VR and AR specialized company that provides 3D spatial models optimized for the fourth industrial revolution. They have the expertise on implementing offline to actual, close to real life images like 3D. Through this business agreement, Rebuilder AI will secure a large amount of actual image-based virtual space data. Now let's round it up with the other tech news of the week. Naver Band surpasses 150 million downloads on the 10th anniversary of release. Naver announced that their community platform Band, which celebrated its 10th anniversary since the service launched, has surpassed 150 million in cumulative application downloads. Ju Guan Gim, CEO of Naver Group and CIC, said, the reason Band has been able to see growth for such a long time is because it is sensitive to the needs and trends of users, and we have made an effort to quickly incorporate them into the service. He added that we will further develop Band into a platform that incorporates all gatherings in the world using Neighbor's differentiated expertise and technology for community services. Next up, the Gyeonggi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation and Team Grit to hold 5G Ultra Low Latency Remote Robot Wars Coplay 2022. The event is part of the 5G Ultra Low Latency Web RTC based Metaverse Open Platform Development Project that is being promoted by the Ministry of SMEs and Startups and exclusively managed by the Korea Technology and Information Promotion Agency for SMEs. 
Its goal is to demonstrate that ultra low latency remote control service. The Remote Robot Wars CoPlay 2022 will be held through a 5G ultra low latency remote control service and will be divided into two categories. A pick and drop event in which a robot is controlled remotely while looking at the monitor to move blocks with tongs or claws and a shoot event in which a robot is controlled remotely to aim and shoot at a target. Next up, Craft on to unveil Project M and Callisto Protocol for the first time at Gamescon 2022. Crafton's independent studios, Unknown Worlds and Striking Distance Studios, or SDS, are set to meet fans from all over the world at Gamescon, one of the world's top three game shows being held in Cologne, Germany. Unknown Worlds new work, Project M, is under development by a production team that has already proven their capabilities through the Subnautica series and is aiming for early access within this year. The Callisto Protocol is being produced by Glenn Schofield, the creator of the blockbuster survivor horror franchise Dead Space, and is expected to open a new world of the survival horror genre with horror engineering techniques used for its development. That's all for this week for the Pangyo Techno Valley Weekly News. But make sure to check out our announcements in the community section of our YouTube channel. You can find out how to win a home training bike or maybe some free coffee in our subscriber event giveaway. Subscribe, leave comments, but all the details are there on the YouTube page in the community section. So check it out for your chance to win. That's it for this week. My name is Alex Sigrist, and I'll see you next week.